We're talking this week about your physical body and how that affects your spiritual strength. And what goes on in your body does affect you spiritually. We've talked about the value, the importance of appreciating the gift called the body that God has given you. We talked about the importance of honoring God with your body, making good moral choices. And I want to talk to you just for a little bit today about, about maintaining your body and the value of doing that. In the uh, book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 27, the Apostle Paul made this statement where he linked the aspect, aspects of his body to his spiritual condition. Notice what he says. Again, this is 1 Corinthians 9, uh, verse number 27. I discipline my body. Notice that. Not just my, sp my spirit or my soul, but he says, I discipline my body like an athlete, training to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. Paul said, I really have to pay attention to my body and maintain it in discipline because if I don't maintain it in discipline, it will, it will become unruly. Have you ever noticed how unruly your body can be? I certainly have. I've noticed that there are times that my body starts making demands on me, like get up and go have some ice cream when I shouldn't have ice cream. It's making a demand, and if I'm not disciplined enough to say, you know what, I'm not going to do that right now, my body will take charge and lead me down pathways that are not always good for me. And that's why Paul says, I have to discipline my body so that I can keep it in line. I have to maintain it in a good way so that it knows who's boss, that it's not running my life. So your body, uh, your, 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 your body desires and wants should never be boss of your life. What should be boss of your life is your spirit and your soul directing your body to the right activity. And that means that you have to put in some discipline in your life. Discipline when it comes to just what you do and, and what you refuse to do and, and what you eat and what you refuse to eat and the kind of exercise you'll do or not do. These are things that really do have an impact upon your spiritual condition. Again, Paul says, I discipline my body so that after I preach to others, I won't be disqualified. Why would he be disqualified? Because sometimes his body could lead him where he really shouldn't go. So let me encourage you today. Make a decision. Maintain your body. Be, be boss of your body. Don't let your body be boss of you. Be boss of your body for the honor and glory of God.